The made-up theater on Washington Boulevard has been around since before the pandemic. What is it like to start performing in improv? I've never done improv ex- outside of uh, made-up theater. This is my first and really only space. I was teaching and realizing I don't have a chance to really do theater anymore because the rehearsals are just so time-consuming. So taking a class once a week was really doable. Well, uh, I actually am trained as a scientist, so I had no experience in improv whatsoever. Since 2018, made-up theater has changed locations, now located on the second story above a coffee shop, which is one of Fremont's oldest buildings built back in 1889. Getting to be above a coffee shop in a historical area of Fremont uh, definitely gives the whole space a really uh, intimate and like high culture feel. Like to know that you're performing in a space that's over a hundred years old is such an amazing feeling. Uh, as well as like we now have a much fuller setup of lights. We're able to stream our shows online. Um, we have our classes have expanded hugely. Uh, we got Venmo and QR codes on everything. COVID-19 had an impact on many small businesses around the world. How did Made Up Theater's owners adapt during quarantine from their usual hosting of weekly in-person improv shows? Like all theaters, comedy venues, concert halls, you know, we had to stop in-person activities and shows. And that was really tough for us because we had only done in-person events and shows. As the weeks went by, we were like, we need to adapt to this. This is going to last for a while. So what we did is we just started doing shows from our living room. You know, our connection here wasn't very good. We had an okay connection in our house. So we just did shows every Saturday night at a pay what you want kind of like ticket fee to come check us out. And it was very odd, you know, not to have that audience participation, that feeling of like, like, you know, getting validation from an audience and, you know, it's something that, especially during the pandemic, we didn't have. So I think, you know, a lot of people said, you know, oh my gosh, I really miss this, you know, having to do shows online via Zoom or just any, anything without a live audience to give you that immediate feedback, you know, was so missing during the pandemic. So now we get to kind of re-explore, you know, our connection with a live in-person audience. And that has kind of just been, you know, such a breath of fresh air for these people who've been kind of deprived of it for the past two plus years. Improv is just one form of entertainment through acting. So what intrigues actors to participate in improv? There's a lot of things I like about it. I love the relationship that you develop with your fellow performers. And I love that feeling of being surprised and being able to surprise them. Like some of the people I've been performing with have been performing since 2004. Um, I also really love the connection with the audience and you know, like the feeling that you're kind of creating something that is unique to them. They are in it for this private moment, this intimate moment, for an experience that they're never going to see replicated. And I think that's a very like liberating moment for me as well as for them. Because I'm so used to like scripted theater where you like you have your lines. You might have to improvise if you, someone goes off, but there's a very clear narrative you're heading to. Um, and there's a saying in improv: it's like if you know where you're going, you're already too far. Like you're 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 out of the space. If you know where you're going, like it's not improv anymore. So that moment to moment thrill is such a huge endorphin adrenaline rush, even though you're just within this like 20 square feet of stage. The Made Up Theater offers private improv coaching for those interested in becoming more experienced. This is a interactive improv comedy experience. Um, in our classes as well, you get to learn the, uh, the skills that we utilize on stage, but the skills that we utilize on stage aren't just for comedy or acting. They're also very helpful for professional development, personal development. Um, people who take our classes, they take it maybe to be an actor or a comedian. Um, and our performers, as they go through our levels, you know, we might take performers from our classes um, or do auditions. And, you know, coming here is kind of like their escape for the week, you know. Um, not all of them have, like, the ambitions to, like, you know, go to L.A. and become an actor. This is just a place where they get to have a creative outlet and, you know, express themselves. Made Up Theater is an improv comedy venue. Uh, we have shows every week. We teach classes. We do team building and private events. It's essentially, you know, a, a, something to do in Fremont. That is something that can be very lacking right now, and it's something that I'm happy to provide for the last 10-plus years. This is Sean Sikig for Ohlone Tri-City News.